and praying for you wherever you are this morning, whether you're back at school with your teachers or at home. Um, this morning I thought we could explore a little bit about resilience. I know you looked at patience last week with Claire and they're very connected and I wonder what you think when when you hear the word resilience. Um, I know that I've heard it a lot connected with people that have made massive changes, positive changes in life. Strong people like um, Martin Luther King, um, Nelson Mandela most recently, he was often spoken of his resilience and his strength. And I wonder what you think when you think resilience. Um, in the dictionary, resilience is known as the ability to bounce back from difficulties. It's also known, as, it's described as the ability to spring back into shape after being put under pressure. Um, there's a really good example of it, of resilience, and um, I don't know if any of you um, work out or do any exercise. I, I hope some of you have been doing the, the PE with Joe, which is super intense, but brilliant. Um, and often in gyms and things, um, they have these things called resistance bands. And they're a big, very, they're basically a massive elastic band. And they make you stronger because you, you pull them and then they spring back. They resist the pressure that you put under them. And it makes you stronger because you're putting them under this much pressure, but they spring back. And for me, a resistance band is the, the way of explaining what resilience is. Um, resilience is having the strength to be put under pressure so you do stretch and you feel it and it's hard it's meant to be but then you're able to come back so you're under pressure especially like in lockdown things are so hard you feel stretched you might feel stressed out you might be finding it really hard without your friends and it's meant to feel difficult because you're human, we all are. So we feel it and we feel stretched, but we don't break. Resilience is feeling this pressure, feeling this stress, but not breaking under it, not snapping. So being able to come back to your original form. So I thought we could together look at um, five steps of how to actually build resilience, because resilience is like a muscle in the body. Um, you aren't either born with it or not born with it. We all have the capacity to build resilience. It's just knowing how to do it. Practicing resilience. Um, so the first one is to rest and to recharge. We all have to make sure that we find those places in which to rest. Um, for me, I struggle with this one quite a lot because I I don't know, I don't know if you found it that your sleep is a bit funny during lockdown. It just sort of feels a little bit like I can't get into a rhythm and I'm finding it hard to um, go to sleep at night. One of the things I'm doing is I'm trying to do less screen time. So before I go to bed, maybe an hour before, I try and have no time on the screen and I might read a book. Um, just to help me get that rest, I've been cutting down on sugar before I go to bed again, because that stimulates me, because I'm realizing how much I do need that rest. And that that's not a weakness to need rest, it's actually a strength, it's a way of building that capacity to stretch under pressure and not break. The second one is to be connected. Um, each of you will find different ways to be connected. You, we've got onla online connection, um, but we've also got the face-to-face -face with your family, with your siblings, finding a way of connecting that is works for you. It might be through playing games, it might be through reading together, it might be through making sure you all have dinner together. Um, it might actually be, and I found this, is actually being honest with one another and saying when you're not feeling good, when you're feeling stressed or afraid or Connection comes from being real with each other um, and deep connection comes from saying 
actually, yeah, I find that hard too, or, oh, I can help you with that. And then setting goals. I'm sure you have different goals from your teachers. But don't let those goals be heavy weights upon you, but let them be kind of, uh, I don't know, something that inspires you, um, something to aim towards, but not something that's going to be stressful. I, I have goals for myself. I'm going to show you a little bit where I am. So this is, oh, this is my studio. So um, three days a week, I'm an artist, as you probably know. So on this wall is kind of, this is my wall of ideas and motivation. And I guess it's a wall of goals because um, there's all these artists on here that I've seen on Instagram and then I've printed out their work. And um, I really like it. So I see it as a goal to try and like almost do something like they do. So on this one, I, my goal is to include more drips and splashes into my work and then... But it's kind of more an inspiration wall than a sort of like heavy, I must do this. And then here's the rest of the studio. It's a little bit messy, as you can see. <laughs> um, there we go. I'm trying to avoid the mess. There. So I guess um, for me, I have my goals of, of in art and in other things. And each one of you will have your goals in, in different things that mean something to you. It doesn't just have to be academic. Creative expression, as you can see, I, I, I find such a um, strength coming from being able to paint, being able to get my ideas and my feelings out there. And it's not about being good at something, it's about expressing yourself through it. So I painted for so many years and I didn't start off being very good. And there are days when I do stuff and I think that wasn't very good. <laughs> didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But I still feel strengthened by getting my ideas out there. It might be music, it might be writing poetry, but it's important to be able to express yourself in a creative way um, without having to measure up to anyone else. And then finally, time to be. I think this is so important and something I've been practicing a while before lockdown, but actually in lockdown, it's been even more important. It's just that time to rest your mind. Some people might call it meditation or mindfulness. Um, my friend's got a name for it that I do. I call it candle time. So I just light a candle and I sit and I just, I think we used the analogy a while ago of shaking that um, box with glitter and water and all the glitters up and all the anxiety feels quite stressful. And it's a way of when you stop shaking the, the bottle with the water and the glitter, the glitter, it's a bit like a snow globe, it all just settles and I think that that time to be is a bit like if you have a snow globe or something it's a bit like putting it down and letting everything settle it might be listening to a song but it's really important in these times where everything feels quite shaky to have that stillness to build it into your your everyday so as we close um I just want us to remember that in all of this, in this time where we are really stretched, that God is with us. Um, he's building that resilience with us, within us. And, and actually in the Bible, um, all the people that did the amazing things that God was close to, that cho he chose, you will notice, um, they were always the people that were like, oh, I can't do it. I'm really afraid. Pick someone else. I'm not strong. And somehow God used them in the most powerful ways. Um, and it was because they had this willingness to, I think, work with him. And they had this ability to build that resilience. So when hard things came, they were able to stretch and not break. And I think that that's for all of us. So as we close in prayer, I'm just going to pray for each one of us that we are not alone in this. So dear Lord, I thank you that you are a God that calls us all 
um, to be resilient and that you are a God that enables us all to be resilient, that you are with us in these times of pressure, in these times of stretching, that you do not leave us alone. Lord, I pray for each one of us that you will show us and guide us ways to recharge, ways to connect, ways to set goals, ways to be creative, and Lord, ways to be still. Lord, in each one of these things, let it be your strength enabling us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.